Hello, this is a quick walkthrough for this smart skin material. Uh, a lot of the techniques are based on a texturing tutorial Michael Pavlovich did recently, so thanks to him for that. Uh, so it starts with uh, there's just this base layer, with a rough skin color, uh, metallic set to zero, there's transmissive color if you're using the skin shader uh, of the substance shear. Next we have a folder that uh, has just some color regions for the face, so yellow at the top, red at the middle, blue at the bottom, using the masks for it, which you can adjust uh, with these shapes here in the settings. So obviously this is just a face, a uh, full head would uh, you know, have different UVs, so you'd want to adjust that so you can do it with this, the up or down. Uh, red, similar thing, is just set to be around the centre of the face, and yellow for the top. Uh, these are blended in quite subtly, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Not so subtle. Then we have a similar thing for the eyelids. Uh, just to add uh, some purplish colour in there. The mask's driven from a shape which has settings you can tweak so you can move them left or right, adjust the scale, uh, and same thing for the other eye. Then we have uh, large creases. <coughs> Excuse me. To add some red to them, this is driven off of the AO map. Uh, then a level adjustment to invert it, so we get the effect in the white areas. And then just blur it a little bit. Uh, we have a similar thing for smaller creases, but this is taken from the curvature map. Again, uh, levels to invert it, and then a bit of blurring. Then we have these uh, squiggles, which is uh, driven from uh, plasma noise. Oops. Uh, here's settings for it, so you can tweak them. You can uh, adjust the scale. Uh, the gradient set there for the color, the red, and then there's just a little bit of blurring. Squiggles 2, it's the same thing, just a different size. Squiggles 3, similar thing, just add uh, some green back in there, just balance things out. Uh, then we have white spots for a slightly different effect, but it functions the same way. Same settings. And we have these micro veins, which is, again, a similar thing with slightly different settings, just to fake some of the small blue veins in the face. So you, you can also paint a mask for that as well, just to control where you want it. Uh, so all of them together give a fairly decent initial texture to work from. Uh, and then we have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just a copy of the original base colour set on top with a fairly low opacity just to bring everything back down again. And uh, there's a folder where you can put your own painted layers in. Uh, we have a roughness folder which starts with uh, just a base roughness layer. Then we have the T-zone just to increase the gloss on the forehead and the nose. It uh, runs the same way as the eyelid with these uh, shapes you can adjust. So you can shift that around to fit your own textures. Uh, same thing for the nose. They're together in a folder so you can control them together so they're you know, balanced. Then we have uh, just this layer just uh, darkens within the pores. It's driven from the curvature, the level adjustment. Uh, then we have another one for adding some a uh, bit more shine on the bump sticking out, which uh, again works the same way. Curvature, adjusting some levels. Uh, and then we have the roughness for the large creases, which is essentially a copy of the red map for the large creases, but just used to add some more roughness in there. Uh, so that's basically it. So 
Hope you guys like it and uh, find it useful.